If you're interested in contraception that has no hormones whatsoever, um, then you might be thinking about what's called a barrier method. The most common barrier method would be a, a condom, um, and the condom is a, a device that goes over the man's penis before the intercourse, uh, and then it needs to be removed after intercourse. Every time the man ejaculates, the condom needs to be removed and a new one placed. So if you're going to have more than one episode at one time, you have to change the condom. That's really important, otherwise the condom is likely to fail. Um, one advantage to the condom is that it is somewhat protective against sexually transmitted diseases, not completely, but it does help prevent um, sexually transmitted diseases. So if you're with a new partner, even if you're on another method of birth control, it's something you might consider using. Now there are other barrier methods besides the condom. Probably the, the, one, the other one that's most known is the Today Sponge. And this is uh, basically, it's a little sponge that's got um, contraceptive um, jelly in it, and it's placed into the woman's vagina um, up against her cervix before intercourse. And then after sex, uh, the, either the woman or the partner will put their finger in and pull it out and throw it away. Um, the Today Sponge actually um, retrieved notoriety because it was uh, prominently in an old Seinfeld episode. What happened is kind of interesting is that the people that made the Today Sponge only had one factory, and apparently uh, there was some problems with the factory, not with the product, but with the factory, and the factory got shut down. And they thought that it would be too expensive basically to get a new factory or get the factory up to standards that they needed, and they weren't going to make enough profit off the sponge to make it worthwhile, and so the sponge came off the market. So it didn't go off the market because there was a problem with the sponge, there was this problem with the factory. But because of that, uh, there was actually a uh, quite a humorous Seinfeld episode about the Today Sponge, whether somebody was sponge worthy or not. Fortunately, though, another company has picked this up and the sponge is again on the market. So this is something that can be used. Um, none of these barrier methods, however, are as effective as the more traditional contraceptive pills or the patch or the implant or the IUD. These all have a little bit higher failure rate um, than those other methods. Um, this is um, contraceptive gel. Um, and um, anti, basically spermicidal jelly. It's not enough to use by itself. It won't prevent pregnancy, but it is recommended to use with, with any of these um, barrier methods like the condom or the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm is another choice, and here is what a diaphragm looks like. It's basically this little sort of rubber thing. It's got a springy little metal thing. This is put into the vagina and it's placed over the cervix before intercourse. It's very important that spermicidal jelly is placed on the um, diaphragm, otherwise it's not really going to work well. And this sits up against the cervix, and then after sex, the diaphragm is taken out and cleaned and put away. Um, the diaphragm works okay. It does have um, a higher failure rate, again, than some of the more traditional um, contraceptive agents. Uh, and the other downside is it does need to be used every time. So the diaphragm just doesn't work very well when it's just sitting in the nightstand. Uh, while you're having sex. So that's the other problem with the diaphragm. Now a couple of other things really are for completeness sake. This is a female condom that's placed in the vagina. Um, really very rarely used, um, but these are on the market. And then this is an example of a cervical cap. Um, honestly, I don't think I've ever fit somebody for a cervical cap, but just for completeness sake that is available. The diaphragm and the cervical cap need to be fit. In other words, you need to come to your doctor to find the right size and then a prescription is given because they do come in different sizes. And you have to have the right size for them to work. So these are all barrier methods. They are for single use only essentially. Um, in the case of the cervical cap or the, the diaphragm, they're reusable but they need to be removed and washed and then replaced each time you have intercourse.